Good afternoon. I'm Pat McCrory, former mayor of Charlotte, and I'm very proud to be here, and it brings back a lot of memories because it was over 20 years ago when I was a young 32-year-old Duke Power employee that I decided to run for city council at large because I firmly believe that the city needed some new blood and new energy, especially to bring jobs to Charlotte and to also make sure Charlotte's a safe community. And here, well over 23 years later, we have another 32-year-old young man who has business experience and also currently works for Duke Power Company. And I think this young man is going to be an excellent city council representative for the Charlotte City Council because he brings new energy, new blood, and most of all, some technology and entrepreneurial expertise to try to continue to bring new jobs to Charlotte at a time when our unemployment rate is at its highest in over 50 years. And now, right now, we need people in City Council who bring that entrepreneurial experience, who try to do startup businesses, and who will also understand the corporate business structure. And that is exactly what Curtis Watkins brings. He brings a business degree, he brings business experience, he brings entrepreneurial experience, and he's going to bring new blood and new energy that's much needed on the Charlotte City Council. And that what makes this city great, is new ideas, new energy, and new reform. And now more than ever, we need to look for new reform because of the down economy, because of jobs being lost, and because we need to look at better ways to spend a limited amount of dollars that are available in our city budget. So I'm very honored to endorse and to support Curtis Watkins for City Council right here in Charlotte because he meets those objectives of business experience, entrepreneurial skills, and new blood and new energy that's desperately needed on the Charlotte City Council. Curtis, congratulations and thank you to you and your family for your willingness to serve. Thank you. And so good luck. I'll help you in any way. Absolutely. Thank you, Pat. Thank, thank you, you very much. much. I would like to uh, first take this opportunity to say thank you to everyone for coming out today and an extra special thanks to Mayor Pat McCrory for coming down and introducing me to Charlotte. It is exciting to have all of you here for this announcement and an honor to be supported by my family, friends, and fellow citizens as we all look for innovative ways to continue to improve our city and embark on some very important new journeys as a community. To the business at hand, I am here today to formally announce my candidacy for Charlotte City Council at large. Thank you. After much careful thought, consideration, and discussion with my lovely wife, Vasla, and other Charlotteans, I felt now more than ever, Charlotte needs a fresh infusion of energy, excitement, and vision from a perspective not currently offered in Charlotte City Council. Indeed, Charlotte is at a critical point where the decisions we make now as a city will greatly impact the future for us, our children, and beyond. It is vital that we focus on building out industries that will provide long-term jobs, keep our city safe and affordable, and continue to improve government efficiency. Doing so now will ensure Charlotte continues to be a great city in which to live, work, and play for generations to come. As your next Charlotte City Council representative at large, I plan to take the lessons learned from the crisis of the past few years to help lead the charge to reboot our local economy in areas of growth that will create the new Charlotte economy. Charlotte is poised to become a city of destination for industries such as energy and technology, innovation for healthcare and defense, and with my business experience in energy, information technology, creating innovative solutions, and building a business from the ground up, I will be a representative who can help foster solutions and truly understand the complex issues facing businesses that want to grow, expand, and ultimately hire employees. And with that startup business background, I also plan to be a strong voice and advocate for small business. Make no mistake, we are not out of this recession yet. And the only way we are going to pull out of this recession is to stop placing burdens and obstacles on the true drivers of the economy, small business. When I am on city council, I will fight for small business, give them a fair opportunity to compete and create jobs. As someone who has walked a mile in their shoes and understands what they face, they know they can count on me to be fair and equitable. Focusing on these areas of the new economy will help us tackle unemployment now and for years to come, offering opportunity for generations of Charlotteans as we look to grow our city to the next level. As you can tell, helping lead us out of the recession is a top priority of my campaign. 
It starts with developing new industries, but it also includes making sure we do what all families and businesses have been forced to do in these tough economic times. Becoming more efficient to reduce uh, inefficiencies and also to live within our means. I have a track record of doing just that. In our startup, we took the approach of blending technology and process improvement, and we did it to the point where we could reduce government waste. It's not only improved operations, but it saved money and made for safer and more secure handling of daily operations. And I plan to use that experience for Charlotte as well. Of course, all of this is rooted in a community that affords its residents the most fundamental need of every citizen, which is a safe place to live. As a council member, I will always make sure the proposals that we as a city are looking to implement for our residents are financially sound while still providing the necessary tools and training required to effectively serve and protect the community. We must never waver in our approach to combat crime or help citizens in distress. At the same time, we must also be responsible stewards of taxpayer dollars. So I plan to work closely with fire, police, and rescue to ensure that the city has the right priorities when it comes to funding. Finally, let us not forget that this wonderful city in which we live has so much to offer. Wonderful weather, great local events, a fantastic airport, a wonderful central location, and improving Carolina Panthers squad. <laughs> so we should make sure we don't take so much of that and fight an uphill battle by making this a city that's too expensive in which to live or run a business. As a councilman, I assure all the citizens and business owners, both current and prospective, that I will always fight to make Charlotte an affordable city. We cannot have undue burden on anyone in this city in these tough times or going forward if we want to continue to attract businesses or new residents. So therefore, an option in front of me is to impose additional burden on the backs of our citizens and businesses for something of marginal value. Rest assured it will never get a vote to pass by me. So thank you again for coming out and being part of this first step of a long journey both for me personally and for us citizens of this great city. Charlotte is my hometown. And I am very firmly rooted in the community, and my primary concern is to see it do well in the coming years. My background in business, my experience in community through involvement in various local boards and commissions, my understanding of these areas of huge growth potential for Charlotte, and a strong focus and dedication to the future of this city. I think the citizens will find me to be a natural choice for Charlotte City Council come this November, and I humbly ask for their support and vote in November. Thank you, and I'll be taking any questions that anybody might have for today. Thank you.